ten thousand dollar bet. Is this golf on his so course? One hundred and five. We're gonna have one for ten thousand. You'll have six arguments before then with him. <laughs> yeah, like Barry and I, we're gonna argue for ten thousand. I give it to him when he wants. Aces for Barry under the gun. The price don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> Without breaking stride, he raises to twenty five hundred. Mm -hmm. You when you won, you didn't say okay. Go ahead. <laughs> give it to me. Right Juan's in. David's in. We're going to have two bets. One oh, 10,000 oh. for February. Hell, he's in. Wow, here we go, huh? Ziggy's in. You should at least make it like 11,000 for the summer. So that you can be up 1,000. Six. Wait, wait, family pot. Right. It is family pot. Right. He's not going to want to. Wow. Fantastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have an eight-handed pot. Eight-handed pot. Bing, bang. He's yep, got the whole gang. Well, nice. oh, you guys want to chop? Who opened this path? They got seven callers. That's all right. <laughs> Barry can't be comfortable getting so many callers. A ten and two deuces on the flop. <laughs> Peter Eastgate's flopped three deuces. Yeah. That's a pretty good flop for Barry. He wants to see what's going on. That's 10,000. Juan's got tens with the queen kicker. But he's also got seven people behind him. And Barry's fight a continuation bet. You know, that was a Gale Sayers. Hmm? That was a Gale Sayers. Juan's going to raise to 37,300. I don't know what he's doing. He's got to know that Barry's really got a hand here. It's possible with eight players in the hand that somebody has a deuce, like Peter Eastgate. So I don't understand why Juan would raise that much money. But Peter Eastgate seems a little intimidated by the raise. And he's going to call. He just calls. And now what's Barry going to do with his aces? Barry calls. Turning out to be a very interesting hand. Yeah. Seven on the turn. Peter and Barry check. Of the three players, Dwan has got the weakest hand. Yeah. He bets $104,200. He's got the weakest hand but the biggest heart. And Peter Eastgate says, well, what's going on here? I got $500,000 in front of me. Do I want to risk it? I question what Juan did on the flop, but right now I think he knows exactly where he's at. Wow. Peter Eastgate releases. He thinks, well, Juan could very easily have ace-deuce. And I'm not risking all this money. And Juan realized that Peter Eastgate probably had a weak deuce. Now it's up to Barry. Barry realizes that Tom Juan's got quite an imagination, but does he have this much imagination? <laughs> it's going to cost Barry his whole stack also because he's not going to just call here. He's going all in. Wow. Barry throws it away. Sure. I had it. You had it. I had it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Barry fold the best hand. Yeah. Oh, duh. <laughs> well, he had the best hand. I was going to move in against it. Peter he didn't call. Hand. I figured you could let him do that. Yeah, Peter had the best hand. Okay. I'll, I'll make a side bet that Peter had the best hand. Well, it certainly wasn't you. I bet he did. Let me look at Peter's eyes. Right. Yeah, he did. I did. I thought <laughs> Barry had okay, I'm taking Barry. Small, Barry's. small, but... Yeah, okay, bet you a thousand. Two thousand? One thousand? Two thousand, bet. Oh, uh, now I feel like I have a bad side because you're instantly up two thousand, but we're on. Okay. Yeah. Juan got himself caught in the crossfire there on the flop. 
but then he just brilliantly played his way out of it with an exceptional move. The only other player I know that would have made a move like that, maybe the late Stu Unger.